I'm Mr. Jackson, Chief Meteorologist David Heckard. Well, here we are in early June. You may be saying to yourself, where are the sea breezes and where are the daily showers and thunderstorms after it looked like in late May we could slide into this before Memorial Day. So what exactly happened here? Well, it's actually a couple complex things that actually developed. And this, I think, is one of the bigger ones is what happened Memorial Day weekend. If you remember correctly, we had a little bit of a coastal low that developed out here in the Atlantic waters. We thought at times this could become a subtropical or tropical system, but it never actually got classified as such. They had a lot of heavy rain over the holiday weekend. If you were up here, you know this from the Outer Banks, Wilmington, Myrtle Beach, all the way south of the Savannah area. But here in southeast Georgia, northeast Florida, there was a lot of dry air kind of bottled up up here in the parts of the upper south. And as the system lifted northward, it drug a lot of that drier air back into the region. And what that did was essentially shut down rainy season, or at least the development of it, here locally. Then Arlene, which if you remember, developed out here in the Gulf of Mexico, it slid southward, and same deal. It drug more dry air back down into our area, again, kind of shutting down any development of that rainy season. So what's going to happen the next couple of days? Well, we do have some daily rain chances on the board here. In fact, this looks like rainy season. You can see daily rain chances all the way through next Tuesday. In fact, some elevated rain chances we move into Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But there's some long-range model guidance that is divergent, meaning we just don't know exactly how things will play out. I want to show you this run here. This is the uh, GFS computer model. This is rain probabilities, and you can see getting to this area right here, that's that deep tropical moisture that we need for those day-to-day -day showers and thunderstorms we're used to. You can see as we move later into the week, that really begins to push in. But notice as we get towards the middle part of the week, this right here, that would be a cold front that's going to sweep through the area if the GFS is correct. And a couple other computer models also indicate that the front may arrive actually as we get into the uh, maybe potentially the weekend time period as well, at least over portions of southeast Georgia. So it's looking more and more that we may actually have a delayed start to rainy season. Fear not, though, if you love the thunderstorms, the humidity out there, that will likely arrive over the next couple of weeks. It is June after all. I'm Assistant Chief, I'm Assistant Chief Meteorologist David Eckert for Channel 4, The Local Station.